So good morning. Uh, welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. Uh, it's day four of Belong. Cool. Um, today it's about lifting your leg in the wave and feeling into our bodies. And actually just take a moment. I was out for my walk this morning and I had this thought of how do I, how would I show myself belonging? So wherever you are, take your two hands. If you're lying on the floor or sitting, take your two hands and then reach one hand across and just hold your other hand. And then wrap your arms around, pause, give yourself a hug. And then just tap yourself lightly or pat yourself lightly. You can do it into your rib cage, down your arms. Nice. Other hand. So before I held my hand with my right hand, so now I'm going to hold my left the way around. <laughs> Just settle into that feeling. You know, how does that feel in your body as you do this? Nice. And then wrap your arms other way. Feel the hug. And then just lightly tap yourself. And then whoosh down your arms. Whoosh. And then bring your hands to your face. And then the sides of your head and just gently hold your head. It's really, it's like squeeze, squeeze. And it's a really light and gentle touch. Nice. Great. Come lie on your back. So lying on your back, your knees are bent. Oh, my face and head feel so soft after that. Nice. So knees are bent, feet are flat on the floor, arms are long beside you. Draw your right knee up onto your chest and feel the squeeze of the front of your hip, the, the contraction of the front of your hip. And then touch your toes lightly to the floor. So tap and then stretch your right leg long. Really surging down into the heel. Feel a stretch in your calf as you do that. Bend your knee, tap, and draw your knee up onto your chest. Tap. Straighten your leg. Tap your toes. Draw your knee up onto your chest. Tap your toes. So between each of the two movements, there's a tap in the middle. And that tap is actually about coordination, proprioception, the ability to be dexterous in the midst of a range of motion. So just feel that, squeeze your knee in, tap, stretch your leg long, tap. One more time, squeeze your knee in, tap, stretch your leg long. Tap, other side, left knee up towards you, squeezing it in. Bring your toes to the floor, let it tap. Stretch your leg long, surge down into your heel. Bend your knee, tap, draw your knee up onto your chest. Tap, straighten your leg, tap, bend your knee. Straighten your leg, tap, bend your knee, tap, straighten your leg, tap, bend your knee, tap. Nice, both feet to the floor. So now we're going to change direction. So draw your right knee up towards your chest, but then bring it out towards the right. So my knee is moving out towards the right, okay? Bring your toe to the floor, tap, straighten your leg. Tap, draw your knee out to the side. Tap, straighten your leg. Tap, knee out to the side. It should be a really different muscle, muscle, muscle feeling. Muscular, <laughs> my muscles, sorry. <laughs> um, so, 
Uh, it should feel like your inner thigh is engaging. I can feel the bones of my hips as I do this. Out to the side, tap, straighten your leg. Nice, there's much more clunking and clicking when I do that. Great, left leg up towards you, out to the side. Tap your toe, straighten your leg. Tap your toe, out to the side. So, you know, what's really important about all these movements is oh, what's happening now in my body? What's the feeling of me as I do this? And how is, how is this different than the other side? How is this different from yesterday or the day before or whatever? And how do I really listen and acknowledge all of me and adapt accordingly, according to the sensations I feel? So there's a lot going on. <laughs> nice. Foot to the floor. Super. Just rock your knees from side to side. Drop your knees down in one direction. And then the other. And just feel, for me, as I do that, I can feel the, the work of yesterday, the twists in my pelvis, in my hips. Feels very nice to hear the echo of the movements we created. Move into gliders. So my arms are wide. Draw your knee up towards your shoulder. So this is also a leg lifting, but it's a leg lifting twist. Just feel that. Keep your shoulders flat on the floor as much as possible. So the sense of wide through your chest, broad through your chest. Nice, one more time each side. Nice, super cool. Pause, just rest there. And just ask yourself, what does this feel like in this moment in my body? What am I drawn to as a place of connection, a place of wellness? Nice. So roll over onto your belly. Cool. So this is similar to yesterday, but it's totally different as well. I love that about movements. It's like some small change and suddenly it's really different. So bring both hands to the floor and then reach your left arm long. So it's on the floor and then pull your left elbow back into lawnmower. Okay. So your left elbow is coming back into lawnmower. And then stretch your left arm long and roll over onto your left side and draw your right knee up towards your right elbow. Nice. Stretch your leg long. Pull your left elbow back. Stretch your left arm long. Draw your right knee up. So I'm rolling over onto my left side as I pull my knee up. And then I'm arching my back as I pull my left elbow back. So it's a, a knee squeeze and a back bend. Knee squeeze and a back bend. So as I'm doing the, the lawnmower pulling back, I can feel that my back is strengthening, even in the four days that we've been doing this. And I can feel that my range is increasing. One more time. <laughs> Other side. So I've just moved way down my mat. So I'm back up my mat. Left hand to the floor, right arm is forward in front of you. Pull the right elbow back into lawnmower and then reach your right arm long. Roll over onto your right side. Draw your left knee up towards your left elbow. Pull your right elbow back. Knee to elbow. Back. So if you find that it's too strong on your right, left shoulder, then make the movement smaller don't lift your knee you know find your version like it's glorious feeling like oh i can be here and i can do my version and i can adapt one more time <laughs> awesome cool head down rock your bum from side to side 
Nice. And then just pause and feel your breath in your belly. For me, there's like a, there's movement in my breath. I can hear like this, yeah, just a, a speed in my breath from that extension of the spine, the engagement of my body. So I'm just going to let that slow down. I could do my physiological sigh, so a deep breath in, and then another one straight in on top of it. And then a deep, steady sigh out. Let's see, how do you slow your breath down? How do you feel your belly expanding into the floor? And I feel that, that pressure of belly and floor. Be here now. Nice. Push back into your cat pose. So you're on your hands and knees, you're in your cat pose. And we know this movement many times, but we're going to add in the tap. So draw your right knee forward towards you. Keep your head where it is so you're not dropping your head down. Tap your toes where they came from and then stretch your right leg straight back behind you. So because I'm not moving my head, it's not a very big movement in my spine. It's about my leg. So tap your toes, bend your knee, tap your toes, straighten your leg. Notice how your spine is really quite steady because you're keeping your head steady. Tap your toes, bend your knee, feel the squeeze and the lengthening. Tap, squeeze, tap, lengthen, tap, squeeze, tap. Lengthen. Now we're going to go sideways. So out towards the outside of your shoulder and then behind your knee on the left. And I'm really sinking into it. So I deepen into the side of my waist. Outside. And outside the left knee. Outside the shoulder. How would you lean into this and let it be really satisfying? So for me to be satisfying here, I'm going to start moving my head and I feel my spine is going sideways in one direction and then sideways in the other. So I feel like a snake as I do this. Nice. Other side. Left knee comes up towards you. Keep your head still. Tap your toes. Stretch your leg. Tap your toes. Bend your knee. Toes. Straighten. Tap, squeeze, tap, lengthen, tap, squeeze, lengthen. Now sideways, outside your left shoulder, behind your right knee, left shoulder. And I really feel the more I move my head, the deeper my snaky spine can move. I really feel that connecting into your spine, your body in this moment. Outside your shoulder, outside your knee. One more time. Shoulder, knee. Great. We rest back into a child's pose. Pause. Slow your breath down. I'm keeping my head high, <laughs> otherwise I sound like Darth Vader. <laughs> nice. So come forward, push back into your downward dog. So, d oh my God, my feet are so dirty. <laughs> So every morning now at the moment from around, so I go for a walk first with the dogs and then we just end up in the garden after our walk. So that's around 20 past five, I end up in the garden. And so for around half an hour, I potter away, hack and pull and weed and drag for a while. And yes, my feet are so dirty. It's just clay all over them. So <laughs> draw your right knee up towards your belly and then swing your right leg back. 
have the moment of the tap between the squeeze and the lengthen. And how do you make this more satisfying for your body? Like I'm getting really long into my leg as I swing it up and back. One more time. Nice, other side. Squeeze your knee in, tap, lengthen, tap, in, tap, lengthen, tap, in, tap, lengthen. Nice, walk yourself forward, roll all the way up, and just pause. Find your ground, feel your body. Nice. So find a wall or a stick. I'm going to use a stick. So my left hand is on the stick wall. And then draw your right knee up towards you. Okay, so I'm going to go sideways. Right knee up towards you. And then lengthen your right leg long behind you. Tap. Knee up towards you. Tap. Leg behind you knee up towards you and then the next time that you lengthen your leg behind you pause there reach your right hand up towards the ceiling get longer into that right leg longer into your right arm nice and then bend your right knee and then sweep your right hand back and just point back towards your right foot there's no expectation that you should be grabbing it or anything Lengthen your chest, squeeze your shoulder blades together, stand taller into your body. Nice, change. Right hand on your stick, on your wall. Draw your left knee up. Lengthen your left leg back. Tap, up, tap, back. Up, tap, back. When your leg goes back, left leg goes back, reach your left hand up. Pause. Nice. Bend your left knee and sweep the left hand down and then back and point back towards your left foot. You're not grabbing it or anything. You're just pointing back. Get taller through your chest. Widen your collarbones. Lift open through the throat. Try and draw your hand closer and closer towards the midline behind you. Nice. Lower your foot down. Cool. Last of these ones. No. Come sit on the floor. All the way down. Come sit down. Legs are long in front of you. And just wiggle your dirty feet. <laughs> uh, sometimes the juxtaposition of my different roles. Is that the right way to use juxtaposition? Not sure, it's a great word. Nice, wiggle your toes. And then bring your right hand straight forward in front of you. So your, your thumb is sticking in the air and your right arm is straight in front of you. Keeping your head center, follow your right thumb out towards the right side until you can still see it, but you feel like, like if you wiggle it, you can still see it. And then bring your right hand back and then over towards the left. And how far does your right arm go to the left? And can you see it with your left eyes or both eyes? Let's try that. Travel towards the right, pausing when you can't see it anymore. And then over towards the left. How far does your arm go? I'm not bending my elbow. Last time, over towards the right. And back to center. Other hand. Left hand, thumb goes up. Follow your thumb with your eyes, not your head. Your eyes. And then over towards the right. Arm stays straight. Over towards the left. Keeping an eye on your thumb. So I'm going too far around the corner on the left. I'm losing my thumb. Also my range, my left eye is my weaker eye. So actually I don't have as much peripheral vision on the left. I've got, I don't like the word lazy. 
I have an eye with less capacity for vision. <laughs> and then back. Nice. One more version of this. So keeping your right hand in front of you. And now turn your head to the right, but keep your eyes on your thumb and then turn your head to the left. So you're keeping your eyes on your thumb, but you're turning your head from side to side. Wow, that one's cool. Other side, right, left thumb forward. Turn your head so you can see your thumb. Your thumb is not moving. Your head is moving, but your eyes are staying fixed. I was watching a video the other day of a kestrel keeping its head still as it flies. Oh my God, it was incredible. Anyways, down, <laughs> roll your shoulders. And just notice how it is to be in your body right now. Closing your eyes, let them rest. Deeply roll more into your shoulders. Nice, roll in the other direction. Nice, keep your eyes closed, roll deeply into your belly. So the analogy I use is be like a skipping rope or I love the feeling of being like a Brillo pad in the center of a barrel, trying to clean the inside of a barrel, change direction. Nice, cool, come lie down, all the way down, lying down rest so take your hands and just palm your eyes so your palms are resting over your eyes breath is in your belly feel how your air the air travels into your nostrils down into your belly and then out through your nostrils and just let yourself be soothed by the movement of the air in and out of your nostrils. Nice. Come to rest. Just pause there. Cool. So stay there for another minute or two, if you can. Just palm your eyes, squeeze your head, give yourself a hug. Um, that was really lovely. Yeah, it's really nice. I like it. Um, I will see you all tomorrow for day five of Belong on Friday night, Saturday morning here in Furbo, uh, we've organized the Furbo Sunday morning swimmers have organized um, a darkness into light. Darkness into light is organized by Pieta House. This actually walks all over the world, but it started in Ireland. And um, so the walk is usually from the darkness into the dawn. And so in Furbo, we're starting at five o'clock from Furbo Beach, and then we're going up around the loop, and then we're gonna jump in the sea around quarter to six, okay? Um, so if you're anywhere in the area, it'd be lovely to see you. Um, yeah, it'd be really great. So five to five, we're gathering on the beach and then five o'clock we leave. Okay. Or if you just want to come for the swim bit or just do it where you are. It's about uh, suicide prevention, suicide awareness, suicide support. Um, it's a really, really good and important thing to talk about. Um, so I'll see you all tomorrow and uh, be well. Uh, ta ta, Aslam.